Hello everyone. In this short video we're going to take a look at using the map check functionality in Civil 3D to do some analysis of some record survey data or it could be plat information. Now to start with I'm going to bring in some data and I'm going to use the from our enhancements pack in 2017 the Traverse Editor. You could use the existing or the older Traverse Editor or Kogo Editor to do this. Now keep in mind the type of uh, analysis I would generally do with this tool here, it has a traverse adjustment tool. But I just want to show you some of the additional features that the map check tool gives you. So I'm going to bring it in using the traverse analysis or traverse editor here. Okay, and so I'm done with that. So you can see here I start in this area and I've got a miss on closure. I could see that just with the naked eye. So I start here and go around and finish with uh, two uh, reverse or reverse curving back to the start point. Okay, so I've got a polyline. The Traverse Editor gave me that, and I actually have Koga points too. I don't need them in this case, but I, I have them if I did. I'm going to go to the Annotate tab and go to Add Labels. I'm going to go to Line and Curve, Add Multiple Segment. I'm going to select my polyline. I'm going to knock the scale back just a bit. One thing to note here on these uh, arcs, you're going to need to make sure and define your bearing basis. Here I've labeled or annotated the curb bearing. So that is key here on uh, these boundary type arcs that are not tangential. So you need to, to define the bearing basis. So here's a core bearing. I've got that into the label so this will know how to draw when we use the map check. So let's load the map check. Let's go to survey, map check. Two ways to go. I can use the command prompt down at the bottom or command bar or I can turn that off and not use the command line. I'm going to use it to start with because it's easy and fast. I'm going to collapse this just a bit. I'm going to create a new map check. You can see down here it asks me for the name. I'll call it 1. Hit enter. Now my point and beginning, there's a button that I can select this with. So I'm going to pick the end point of that line. So you can see I use the button there to grab that in the screen. So I just pick the end point of the first line. So I make sure I can get the point of beginning, not the point of misclosure. And now, because I use command line option, it is asking me to select the first label. So see, this does not need line work. I'm selecting these Civil 3D labels. It's reading the bearing distance. Okay, we get to our first arc. Okay, notice that our bearing looks good. We did it did find the bearing, but we need to flip this. There we go. You can see we have a flip and reverse at our command prompt. Those are very handy. We'll talk about another use for that in a bit. And I'll select my last label. So you can immediately see here that I don't need any line work. I could use this right off of just some labels that I placed in the file. And I'll give you an example of that later. So I'm going to hit enter to stop. And now let's expand the map check box a bit. So I could go back and edit any of my sides here. Okay, I could flip these, reverse the direction if needed. So this is the input screen. I'm going to flip to the output screen. You can see the yellow arrow. So I can immediately check my misclosure. So I'll about a tenth out here on misclosure for just linear misclosure. Okay, there's the direction of the era, area and all the other parameters. I could copy this to the clipboard. This is a nice feature that I can place in text in the file with this report. And I can create a polyline either before and after an adjustment. So let's say I just had labels with no line work. I could create a polyline of the unadjusted or what I'm about to do with the adjusted map check. So let's adjust this and correct for that tenth. So I'm going to the heading here, the name, right click, adjust. It asks me how I want to adjust. I'm not going to do angles. I'm just going to do latitude and departure. I can do this for my closure warnings. Move this up so you can see. So there's the raw input. Here's the error of the closure. And again, 
because I did not meet that required uh, parameter that I put in, I got a warning about that. Okay, so that's one way. So I'm going to clear this. This is just kind of standard uh, coming from a plat or a survey. So I'm going to delete this map check. I'm going to move over here. This is another common situation, more on the plat side. So make these even bigger. So what you can see here is I have labels that may or may not be in the correct directions if I'm trying to do these separately. So I'm going to create a new map check. The prompt is asking me the name. I'll just put test. And now it asks for the point of beginning. So let's say I know this parcel starts up in this corner and goes this way. And this south would make me think that. And this north would make me think that it's looping this direction. So my first label, the prompt is asking me for select a label. So I'll go here. The next one is going the wrong direction because this particular side was labeled based on the the bearing basis of the other parcel and this is where the reverse comes in really handy so directly in the on the uh, prompt I can reverse it as I go then keep going and enter and then I'm finished same thing I can make and do my adjustment create a report whatever I need to do okay the last example here I've got some cocoa points and notice on the third point here of the traverse, I have a little bit of a pin farm. So I've got a couple pins representing what we're not sure which is the correct pin because they're very close together. So just to kind of give you another a possible situation here to use this. So I'm going to go to the annotate, add labels, line and curve, and I'm going to add line label between two points. So I'm going to turn on, make sure snap is on. There we go. Just going to kind of label these around. Snapping to the node. I'm going to make sure I can get four to start with. There we go. Then I'll go four back to close. All right. Looks good. Now let's run the map check command. Create a new map check. Name called test. Point I'm beginning. I want to click the button to select it. It's going to be point one. And same technique, it's asking us to identify the label. There we go. We can look at the results. No error, this closes. Now what if I wanted to quickly change this label? So I'm going to enter to stop. So I've got the map check up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the label because remember, this is just a line between points label. I'm going to select the endpoint move it over to 5. So now my label has changed but my map check of course is not. The nice thing is I can go back to a particular side of interest click on the select side button updates the label, updates the map check. Now if I go to the output screen I should have missed closure and I do. So the goal today was to show some other tools that are available in Civil 3D for running analysis on parcels, record survey data, plats, that kind of data. So I hope you find this has been beneficial.